she's Welcome great. back she's to Portland very... today on this Wednesday. How about some good eats, courtesy of Kenny Jambavo, a Pazzo restaurant, a chef there. We're going to make this lighter pasta dish using not pasta, but zucchini. It's an ingredient you can get at the farmer's market, Kenny. Oh my goodness, yes. I mean, zucchini, I, I have a small garden in my backyard, and zucchini is just going crazy right now. They're growing everywhere. So I love pasta. I'm a little bit of a cynic. Is this going to taste as good as traditional pasta or at least have that sort of texture? I think so. I think so. It's tricky because uh, squash, summer squash particularly, will overcook very quickly and you don't want to overcook it. So it's a, what's fun about it is that it's a very quick dish for that reason. Um, and so the preparation time is, is very Yeah, short. show us how so, to prep it. You so have so all the, your equipment the, here. The first, thank you. Um, the first uh, uh, step is just to show how to use this particular piece of equipment in the kitchen, which is a mandolin, and it makes very thin slices, or as you'll see, very thin julienne. A mandolin in mandolin. the kitchen. Mm -hmm. hmm. Another substitute for a mandolin, if you don't have one in your home, is a spiralizer. Mm, I have which one is of those. A, yeah, which is also can make uh, the zucchini appear as if it's a noodle. Um, Actually, so, Brenda Braxton broke my spiralizer. Oh, she did. I'm going to have to get one of these. So is this the size people at home would get, or is this more of a professional This size? is a professional size. Okay. It okay. is. But it and works the same way. If yeah, kind yes, of it have. does. And there's they sell them. Um, I've seen them at uh, uh, Ujamaya Market, at at, um, at Sir La Tabla and, and mm -hmm. Kitchen Caboodle. I mean, they're pretty pretty um common now wow and look at how yeah it you don't out. take the peel off you just no i want to i want to use the outside of the zucchini for the color contrast oh i see but um i would slice more of the zucchini had at home mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. i was preparing this um i don't go all the way down to the seed though the seed tends to be a little bit on the bitter side okay so that's a, a good another good point um Fresh herbs work really well with vegetables. Everything that's in season mm -hmm. right now, we're using the heirloom tomatoes that are in season as yeah. well. So the dish um, really comes together as a, a great summer dish. Um, we uh, uh, have one prepared for you to you try. Want to taste? So uh, once you um, you know did that the, on the mandolin, then, what is the cooking process? The, the, so the steps are just uh, sautéing your garlic a little bit with some anchovy, which I happen to love anchovy mm -hmm. in my pasta capers. I use a, a particular pepper that it's a sweet hot pepper so it's not melt your face hot it's mm -hmm. but it's got a little kick to it and then the, the tomatoes and the uh, zucchini and we're just gonna and you're gonna be it. at the PSU farmers market this Saturday what are you gonna be showing um, I'll be showing this dish uh, but in a more in its entirety so mm -hmm. you, I'll show all the steps to, uh, ahead, to now this is this. part of a series by uh, Portland chefs doing yes, cook it is. cooking so dem demos at the, the market. The chef's demo happens every Saturday at 10 a.m. at the at the Portland uh, mm. uh, Public uh, Farmers Market. Um, it's a great event. It's a great opportunity for chefs to mingle with our our mm. potential customers. This and is amazing. Do Wonderful. you like that? Wow. Mm. Good. No, I'm if only glad. you could make that for me every night, because I'm sure mine wouldn't turn out that I'm just <laughs> impressed that it's hot. Yeah. yeah. It's hot. We never know when we dig in, Kenny, if it's going to be stone cold or what. <laughs> <laughs> but that is just delicious. Wow, so Is this I'm on good. the menu at Pazzo? Uh, a, a version of it. It's actually a part of a dish, mm. so it's not it's not a dish as itself, although it could be. Um, I use it as a as a, a a garnish on a plate with um, albacore tuna, mm, which we have now, albacore and tuna. And address that name for me, because for years I've said Pazzo. 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 Pazzo which mm -hmm. people should know means crazy. <laughs> Pazzo. <laughs> Why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> Sorry. I was uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, more information at portlandfarmersmarket.org. And again, Saturday, you'll be out there around 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. Okay. Yes. And you've been kind enough to share this recipe, so we'll put it on our Portland Thank Day Facebook page. Yeah. Thanks so much Thanks for coming so by.